Vibrations Podcast, Part 7, Nell Palin. Hi, I'm Gary Brightman and this is my weekly podcast called Vibrations. Established in 2018, Vibe is a book and music shop situated in Moi Wo on Lantau Island in Hong Kong. So what's been happening at the shop over the past week? Vibe customers these days tend to be made up of 50% Lantau locals and 50% day tourists. Back in early 2019, these figures were nearer to only 30% day tourists. So the landscape is changing and also attracting younger people as they try to escape their urban environments. Hong Kongers have had it too hard for too long now. Back in April 2019, the civil unrest started and changed our landscapes, followed by COVID-19 emergence in mid-January 2020. This is on top of already stressful, hard-working lives and often living in small apartments with extended families. So no wonder that the population is ready to discover Lantau and other islands. Moiwo Plus is a local initiative of young people who set up a weekend market near Paws Cafe and use it to promote Moiwo and its local traders. We welcome and support initiatives like this. They describe themselves as a group of culture and wellness enthusiasts committed to exploring the potentials of Moiwo together with local communities and new minds. They can be found on Facebook under Moiwo Plus and have a website of the same name. I think for many years now, Hong Kongers have seen Lantau as not having much to offer and therefore boring and maybe too far away. Hopefully we're now starting to give them an attractive weekend destination and who knows what will happen if they ever open the beaches again. We continued to receive book donations over the past week and as I always say, we probably receive 15 books for every one we sell. By nature I'm a hoarder, so was my dad. It means you don't see anything as junk. We're the perfect-ish recyclers. But of course, it means either increased storage is required or some sort of management. In Terry's time running the shop for 16 years, there were plenty of charities, including Siemens Mission, who would gladly accept books. Fast forward to 2020 and people want the right thing to happen to books. And one of these things can be recycling, but would rather someone else dealt with the problem. So my latest idea is to repurpose my largest shelving at the back of the shop to free books. I've always had $10 books out the front of the shop and for a year now a free box also. So the free books to helpers idea was hatched. Let's see how it goes. My biggest reservation with this scheme is threefold. Helpers don't get much time to read as they're sadly often overworked. Six days a week and long days at that. And secondly, when they do get time off, they tend to prefer to meet up with friends and have a good natter. Who could blame them? Thirdly, our helpers in Hong Kong are Filipino, Thai and Indonesian. English is not their first language. However, they're welcome to sell the books on or send them home. So let's see. The scheme will run until January the 2nd, 2021 and is initially 400 books, but I'll add to these. Each helper can have up to six books. This week's shout out to a local Lantau business goes to Tao's Dog and Cat Rescue Charity. Founded by Dr. Eslyn Terragina, they are Lantau based and approaching their second anniversary. They do a superb job with the volunteers they have and have rescued many cats and dogs, including our dear Jack, who we adopted over a year ago. You can support them by adopting for the longer term or fostering a cat and dog for a short period or donating some funds or even putting some money in their collection box at Vibe or buying some of their merchandise. Tails make a big difference in our community. Hats off to you guys. We respect what you're doing. You can find out more about Tails on Facebook at Tails Lantau or the website of the same name. And so to this week's interview. Having a dodgy back, I've been going to Tai Palin Massage pretty much every week for 11 years now. They've kept my back from further injury and given me a general and ongoing sense of well-being. So this week's interview is with Nell Palin. Hi Nell. Hi, hi, Gary, hi. What made you start Tai Palin? I met my husband and we come to Lantau Island. When I start here, I feel it's all so relaxed. 
and I try to think about that, and I say, ah, oh, I want to, I want to build up my. I, I don't want to say the business. I just say, ah, oh, my family, because I love the massage, you know. Yeah. And I think because I know the massage can help the people to relaxing, and mm. help a lot the, the body, and uh, I think, ah, oh, I want to grow up. The family here. Yeah, I call my business is uh, the the family, and uh, I try to find the place and I look. Ah, oh, why so quiet here? And but anyway, I don't want to go to Hong Kong side or the city. It's a too busy, the busy place, and we try to do the small family. And I start from the business is like. Ah, oh, I have the family here. I hope everyone when they come to Lantau Island or come to Mui Wo is like and they feel ah, oh, I come back home. Yes, I I yes. just feel like that. Is a, I hope that everyone when they come to ask for the massage is a, oh when they lie down or sitting here go inside as a, I so feel so relaxed. I think it's more important for the our the body. Yes, it's like. You know, you busy over time. Yeah. And when you come, it's just sit down and relax. It is more important in uh, our life. Yes. Yes. I think what? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think it that all that all makes sense to me. I love the way you say it's 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 to it's more of a family yeah. uh, rather than a, running a business. And I think, yeah, certainly Lantau Island is is relaxed it's more the sort of leisure part of hong kong it's not the busy hubbub of central and the kowloon side and tst yeah so i think i like to think also i agree with you i think people's mindset change when they get on the boat they're going back to somewhere quiet and tranquil mm -hmm. and it's a natural good place to to look after your body and your mind yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, and so, so you started the business. Uh, what year was it roughly? Two thousand eight is I moved to Lantau and I start at the two thousand nine. Okay, nearly eleven years. Oh, nearly yeah. uh, twelve years now. 12, yeah, 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 yeah. And what sort of services do you offer there? We have the Thai traditional massage and the aroma massage or uh, food massage, but only one thing is a Thai style. It's a different. It's a more the therapy. I only know when people they come to me to ask for the massage, what we can feel. Your hand is a magic hand. Yeah. And what the more important is that the heart behind hand. Yes. To do that. Yeah. What's yeah. behind it and and uh, yeah. yeah. I I understand. So you're basically, um, you, what you're saying is that you you've got two sorts of people that come to you. I guess those that have. A problem that mm -hmm. they know about it's a certain ache or a pain and mm -hmm. they say to you mm -hmm. fix that yeah and other people come just for general um, yeah. body massage to make them feel better mm -hmm. but the way you approach it you and your team is that you can feel where mm -hmm. the injuries are yeah and you can feel the the, the stress i suppose in the mm -hmm. it's mainly the back isn't it i think that's yeah. the the area where most of our problems kind yeah, of yeah. Uh, come out this year covid 19 how has that affected your business for me is the and my team is that when the government they say ah oh, you have to close and something i think it's good for everyone have to close down but maybe it's a it's a, a little bit it's a not so good for us it's a, you know you can't earn money no and, you know no. It, we live in in lantau and the my girl is a they have to rent the the house yeah or something. everything for them they have to look up for them family in yeah. thailand also wow every month they hard work yeah. here because the, they have family to to to, to support up, to support thailand. to them yeah and uh, but yeah. one thing we what we can do when the COVID start here and the government say oh you have to stop work and but what we do okay we go to hiking yeah. do more exercise make yeah. ours a healthy yeah and a lot of the people ask ah, can you come to home yeah. service or something uh, I say yeah. sorry we can't do that oh you can't even do yeah, that yeah we can't do yeah. that because yeah. not not we want don't want to do we we want to do yeah. but we I, we want to protect you Yes. and protect yeah. my team also yes it's a, i think it's a more important if i go to your house or your family yeah and maybe how you know is that yeah safe? where you're infected yeah, or they're yeah, infected that, yeah yeah but I we're see. quite happy about 
uh, we do something together. It's yeah. like my team as we do hiking and do some sport, do some a lot of Good. thing together. It's a make you know. It's a make the family stronger. Yeah, that's that's very uh, that makes a lot of sense. You know, I mean, and you know, if you can't be at work then improve yeah. your mind and your body and your own yeah. well-being so that you're in a better shape when you can yeah. start yeah, working. Yeah, when you start again. Um, yeah. But obviously very, very tough. I mean, as you say, your staff and you, you, you have to pay friends and fam- yeah. you know, family in Thailand, yeah. your, your rent, your food. Mm-hmm. And if you're not working there, mm-hmm. zero income, no money coming yeah, yeah. in. So uh, th- I dread to think how that even works. It must be horrendous. So your team, basically, um, I think you've got four women there in the team, Lily and we, Pear and Lisa. Yeah. Um, they seem to have been there with you for a long while. They obviously like it there. They yeah, feel yeah. that family thing. I yeah, think. yeah. Everyone yeah. feels here is like family. Do any of them specialise in certain areas or, or are they all around the same standard doing the same sort of thing? Uh they also is a do everything we yeah yeah but what is a different you know what's the different for the four lady yeah it's like some people ask me ah oh, who the best in Thai Pai Lin is like, I want to get the massage uh. or something I will say I can't tell you who no. the best because I don't know what you like yes it's like you say oh when I go to a restaurant I like the spicy yeah I like sweet I like uh whatever yes and many many yeah. many many different i will say you have to try yes because i will say my lady everyone yeah is really good for yeah. me so yeah. it is personal yeah in, yeah in english you'd say horses for courses so <laughs> what that means is horse racing yeah, yeah, certain yeah. horses run better on different tracks yeah Shartin or, or happy valley how do people book to have an appointment yeah, uh, they f- they can call me uh, by my contract. Is that all? They can use the WhatsApp if they think it's like uh, I can come later and uh, you just send me the WhatsApp. Uh, I yeah. mean, I will confirm with that later be- because yeah. I also have to work. You know, you know that, right? Yes, I think you're very responsive, and I I, I agree. So I mean, the normally, I mean, the phone number people would call would it normally be the the nine zero six two. Yeah. Oh one four eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either that or call calling in. Um, you know, so I I know often it seems to me people just do it on the spur of the moment. Uh-huh. They come here, don't they, for a day out, and they think, oh, I want a massage, uh-huh. and so often people just walk in from yeah, the street, yeah. don't they? And and if you can, you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can try. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you can try because it's yeah. a, you know, for lady working is a sometimes is a. Yeah. On the on the it's like Monday to Friday is okay. You try to walk in. Yeah. But Saturday Sunday is a better to call. Yeah. So I hear what you're saying. I mean, largely people are booking directly through you and your phone. Mm-hmm. You're also massaging, yeah. so you can't keep breaking off and upsetting the customer. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> so yeah. answer. So that's that's good. Okay. And you seem to work very long hours to me. Was it 12 hours a day, 11 to uh, 11? Sometimes I feel so sad for the girl. It's like I make so long yeah. hours, you know, before we start at 11 to 11, that's yeah. already 12 hours, you know. But you know what happened to us yeah. now? Yeah. Uh, we start at 9 uh. a.m. or sometimes it's a 9.30 or 10 we start. We don't know in the future. Yeah. You know, it's, I don't know, they will tell us to close, close again, again. Or, or, or what. Yeah. That's why the girl, they say, so, I don't mind to start work early. Yeah. I hope I can start work because, you know, you don't know what happened in yeah. another day or something. Yeah, you, you, I totally understand that. I mean, we're on end of phase three of COVID here now, and already the yeah. government are talking yeah. about there might be a fourth wave. So, yeah, it's important, I guess, to earn the money while you can. Mm-hmm. But that's hard on you girls because I know you you are working a minimum of twelve hours a day. Yeah, yeah. You get little gaps of rest, but mm-hmm. still hard work. So, yeah. so the ideal really is if people are going to book is to book from eleven a.m. Yeah, eleven. Till, yeah. Till eleven p.m. Is it or ten p.m.? Yeah, yeah, eleven p.m. Eleven p.m. Yeah. Uh, at night. Um, okay. 
And you used to close on Tuesdays, but you don't close Tuesdays. Yeah, not close anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be thinking, uh, oh, the Nicole. Seven the Nicole days a week. Will come again. But yeah. the girl, day, we have one, the, one day for day off. For, yeah. But for the shop, it's a, we run every day. Okay, so hopefully those that are listening to this podcast support nail paling support uh, <laughs> tie paling and you know please uh, go go and visit her and do more exercise and keep your time for relax your body yes because the too hard work in hong kong yeah too straight in hong kong yeah and choose keep your time for relax yeah you know? yeah it's a the yeah good thing. yeah what about your poor old body it's got to last 80 years or more you know yeah. look after it so and a very affordable prices and so i would say uh thank you and may you always yeah, be thank running thank you to organize <laughs> and can give me the a little bit the, the prayer to talk about the massage yeah i hope people they understand the massage yes yeah and we try to do the best the one thing we can fix the body is that you have to mm. know how to i don't know how to say gary it's like yeah when you push or you use your power yes. you have to do thai style is the yeah what i say is like it's quite a firm way of, of slowly massage isn't it yeah and deep and yes. something is not you know you know the the some style is like yeah not hard and impact. your body is a really yeah. tired give your mind relax yeah that's a good thing yeah for me I think. yeah no i think for everyone it has to be yeah, doesn't it yeah. as you say people work so hard in hong kong yeah um, under a lot of stress, living in small conditions or yeah. whatever, and so give yourself some quality time yeah, yeah, and yeah. free your mind up, and your body will yeah. respond to that yeah. as well. That's really important, yeah. I think, for the body. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, thank you very much yeah, now. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. You can find out more about Thai Palin on Facebook at Thai Palin Massage or call them on 9062-0148 for an appointment. Well, that's it for another week. Thanks for listening to the seventh Vibe Book and Music Shop podcast called Vibrations. I'm Gary Brightman. You get my vibe? Can you imagine what this old island must have looked like to those Dutch sailors when they first saw it? Fresh green. Like a dream of a new world. They must have held their breath. Afraid it would disappear before they could touch it.